Well, I think, <clears throat> I think that the, uh, I think it's the walking away from Medicaid and, and not doing anything to expand health care to the uninsured. Um, because I think that's an issue that um, liberal-leaning interest groups can exploit. Now, the polls I've seen on this issue show it's, it's, it's people favor it. It's not overwhelming. But um, a majority of Floridians is saying, why don't we take the money? Every other, West Virginia just decided to take the money last week. And so I think Democrats will frame this as um, a legislature that cares about rich corporations but not poor people with no health insurance. And the money is sitting in a pile. By the way, it's money contributed by Florida taxpayers that we're walking away from. It's important to point out that Rick Scott wanted to do Medicaid expansion and the Florida Senate wanted to do Medicaid expansion. This was one of those two against one dynamics and it never works out. Rick Scott's getting a lot of criticism, I think justifiably so, for taking what for a conservative Republican was not an easy position to take, but then he didn't put his shoulder to the wheel and work for it very hard. He just sort of let it play out and people knew how it was going to play out. It was going to play out the, the conservative, more ideologically uh, driven House Republican leadership said, we're not taking the money, and they, they prevailed.